It's a That's Good Sports vlog, and I'm gonna sh shove it down your throats. No, we, we, we won't, we're not that aggressive, aggressive here. Those are medical records, probably shouldn't have those on camera. It's a vlog day. We're gonna do a That's Good Sports vlog. Uh, I'm going to training camp. Well, the start of training camp, there is a uh, media barbecue, which I'm not invited to. I'm gonna have my own barbecue today because I heard there was a barbecue and then it got me hungry for barbecue. So I'm gonna go to my favorite barbecue place and have my own personal, private, super exclusive media club member barbecue. And guess who's invited? Nobody, but that's good sports. Those are barbecue abs. Time to train. Barbecue abs. Barbecue abs, barbecue abs. So I'm heading over to Dove Valley, UC Health Center, wherever the heck it's called now. But training camp starts this week, tomorrow, today or yesterday, depending on when I uploaded this video. Again, if you follow my channel, you know that I believe training camp is overrated in terms of predicting what the season's gonna look like. You've got a quarterback battle happening. The winner of the quarterback competition is not gonna be determined in training camp. Everybody's gonna talk about it every single day, but that's not where it's going to be won. Maybe one of the QBs can make some strides in training camp to help him earn that spot, but really it's gonna come down to the preseason games. Whoever looks better while playing real football against real competition that's who's gonna win the job. So you can pay attention every day at training camp. You can listen to everybody talk about, this guy threw this many passes and they all looked great. Simeon threw a pick in practice today. Ooh, Paxi Lich threw two picks in practice today. Ooh, Chad Kelly sat on the sidelines looking confused. Ooh. But then you're like, that's just how Chad Kelly looks. He always looks confused. <coughs> God bless me. I'm going the wrong way. I've got my trophy with me. That's what victory looks like. I just wanna get out there to feel like I'm part of the, the team, you know? Doing so many videos from my basement, if I'm being honest, that can be very lonely. I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the outside, cross the field. I don't wanna get too close. I don't know what the rules are. God, I don't wanna break any rules today. Does this mean nothing to you? Does this mean nothing to you, Dub Valley? Does this mean nothing to you? Read them and weep. Read them and weep. They call it training camp for those of us who come here to train. You don't have to be in to train like a pro. They leave the sprinklers on for those freelancers like me. And yes, that right back there is Dub Valley. I don't want to be in there. I got my own barbecue to go to today. Also, I have uh, my guy, my friend Ryan Green on the inside, interviewing select members of Denver Media, sports media, to see why, according to them, I'm not allowed in. I wonder what nice things they're all saying about me right now. All right, Ryan, so Brandon Perna, uh, he was voted as the most loved media member in Denver by fans in one random poll. Not by uh, me, by the way. Not by you. Kind of crazy the guy who wins this can't get in there. A little drive through. Oh, am I supposed to be here? Nope. That's okay, you can drive through the parking lot. 100% legal, everything here you see is legal. You guys look a little young to be in the media, but I trust that the Broncos PR knows what they're doing. Oh, sneak peek, exclusive things anybody can see. I'm trying to, just, just need to zoom it. Just need to zoom it correctly. Oh, God. Just trying to zoom it. Just zoom right, come on. There we go. I'm here at my favorite barbecue place in Denver, Brothers Barbecue. I come here frequently. They have really great pulled pork. Their brisket's awesome. I love their chicken. The sauces, 
The sauce is better than any barbecue place in Denver. And they're one of the only places today that would confirm my reservation for a media party of one. And uh, they didn't make me feel uncomfortable on the phone. So that's the customer service. Another reason I'm here. Oop, God damn it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so Brothers Barbecue. I'm here at my favorite bar barbecue place in Denver. Gonna go in and get my favorite meal. I get it every time I'm here. It's a specialty. The secret, the secret on the menu. Tofu, finest meat, plus salad for a full balanced lunch. That's what we're getting today. Okay, so I'm out here with Mike, BDP of Brothers Barbecue. Uh, we were just talking about the Broncos uh, press conference interviews today. Oh yeah, here comes Here's Brandon's BDP lunch right here. Here we go. Finest meat in all of Denver, the tofu sandwich. It's a meat so rare that I'm not even sure what part of the animal it comes from. A cow, a pig, a hybrid cow pig. I think maybe tofu is the Japanese equivalent of pork to beef. Kobe and Wagyu beef the most delectable beefs and tofu is the most delectable of the porks or chickens you would concur as a barbecue uh, expert I don't know if I'd concur but you know we have tofu on the menu for people like Brandon so, great yeah you said Elway said something interesting don't quote me on this but I, he made a comment about how the quarterback decision would be obvious for all people watching. Um, so that's that, weird. Yeah. Obvious, like, does he mean once it starts, we will see a clear-cut winner? Right, that's, that's kind of the way that I took it. Or does he mean we're all stupid for not already knowing right. who it should be? Right. Well, I heard Vance Joseph say on the radio it would be a group decision. Right. And then you said Kubiak was going to be yeah, part there of the was decision like a, on the quarterback. a reference that Kubiak would have input or be involved in that group decision. Okay. Which, obviously we all know how last year played out, and I think Kubiak, you know, almost lost his job, let's say, for sticking with Simeon and not really putting Lynch in there. Um, right. You know, so to say that he's gonna have some sort of decision when Simeon was clearly his guy last year. Yeah, so is Kubiak just gonna push for Simeon more? Right. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I or maybe they brought him back, but told him, you know, it was contingent upon him changing his mind on uh, who the starting We'll give you a salary <laughs> in a BS scout role where you can just do whatever you want. Right. Give us some leads whenever you want. Right. As long as you say Paxton Lynch should yeah. start. Here's your Paxton Lynch jersey. We need you to wear this around Dove Valley. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we have publicly you must be seen That's right. in Paxton Lynch car. We, we need people to believe that we're all on the same page here and that Paxton is our guy going forward. Little secret here, ask for the clear water cup, but then you put in tea and you don't have to pay for it. That's a foodies guide expert to optimizing your bank account while keeping your belly full. All right, so Vic, Brandon Perna, yeah. he was voted as most loved media member yeah. by the mm -hmm. fans. Yeah. So why isn't he allowed in the Broncos facility? Are you asking me this question? Asking you this You're question. asking why me you a, a credentialed member of the Broncos media? You're asking me this question, an official, official member, a picture that's old. You're asking me that question. I tried to help the kid, but Brandon owns several cats. And the Broncos are a little concerned about his relationship with those cats. Every time he covers the team here at the facility, he brings a couple of those with him. And to be honest with you, they don't want to be seen with a guy carrying a bunch of around. I would say the reason Brandon wasn't given credentials is the odor that he emits when he walks in the room and stands on the sidelines is absolutely disgusting. What would you compare it to? That moment when you go in the bathroom after your buddy was in there about five minutes ago and you think it's safe, but then you realize it's not. What I heard uh, through the grapevine was that after TJ Ward's golf tournament, the players thought he was kind of creepy and requested that uh, he wouldn't be out here at camp. 
Well, I think it's pretty obvious why Brandon Perna didn't get a credential. Uh, my lasting memory is something my wife reminds me every time I mention his name as far as I'm working with Brandon Perna. So she, is that the guy that had his shirt off grabbing his nipples on camera? And I think it's a lasting memory for all the Broncos media as well as the uh, public relations down here. So sorry, Brandon, as far as I'm concerned, that's exactly why you don't have a credential. I would die, Vic. I would die before I ever let the Broncos take these little things away from me. They love me so much. She brings me so much joy. And I don't care if the Broncos hold this against me. I'm just being the best man that I can be. I'm being the best man I can be. Ow! Hey, get out of there! They are a pain in the ass. Uh, and don't forget, I've got a second channel, the That's Good Broncos channel. I just uploaded a recap of the first day of training camp. It's called Bronco Sign, Stephen Ridley and Alan Barber. It's pretty damn good. Sub there, watch over there. Yee, yee, yee. <laughs>